I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, doing no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack Baby, I'm bad, yeah. baby, I'm bad I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder Cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me Ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact Give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back I'm sick of being cautious I'ma go cause something, can't stop this I'ma steal everybody's lane, call it shoplift Sick of hearing everyone complain when they thoughtless Taste the pain, it's like candy canes It makes me go change into a better frame Into a better name, society's insane We all live for fame, yeah Cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it Finally, the ROM has booted. So this is how the set setup screen looks like. So let us begin the setup. Let me uh, click on. So these all are the um, languages that are available to you. You can see that they have a um, lot of languages, a lot of regional languages. So let me click next. I'm taking English as default and we have some uh, legal information and stuff like it. So but let's agree to those stuffs. Okay privacy policy catch your terms of service um, so basically you get two optional uh, services let me uh, point it out closer to you so if you want to enable it yeah you can do that or if just leave it as blank yeah just leave it as blank so let me click on next okay so about something I don't know a lot of text are there I don't care whatever that is so let me agree to that so here we get the Wi-Fi information so basically if you don't want to connect it to Wi-Fi just make a skip so import data not not interested in those sort of stuff so let me skip that yeah so basically regarding the navigation so basically if you are not skipping the Wi-Fi setup I mean yeah you get the options to add your Google account and stuff like that this is what is going to happen i believe so yeah you get the options for gestures and all let me click on next unlock method i'm not bothered about locking my screen so let me skip that also uh auto update overnight whatever that is so let us disable that not interested in any of these stuff so press done there you are we get the welcome screen so let's click on the get started stuff now okay so this is how the home screen setup looks like the rest is start the review right now we have successfully flashed um, oxygen os onto our device basically oxygen um, oneplus is being taken by color OS. so basically you can see a lot of dramatic changes in this particular version let us start from the quick settings itself uh, scroll down the quick settings I so you can see that uh, quick settings has been re um, remade or the user interface has been changed um, if you have used Oppo phone you are familiar with the user interface I believe I've used Oppo phone very very long back I believe it was in 2017 and at that time it was looking something like this I didn't like that phone so I sold it um, well if you swipe to the um, right you can see that there is an up vault like we say in MIUI you can see that there is a step indicator over here I have just installed or I have just flashed the ROM so basically I cannot um, show you a lot of stuff over here you get a nice weather widget over here but you do have a problem with the display feature as you can see that it is pretty much filled so I don't know why that is happening anyways it's not an issue overall the initial impressions are the ROM is really smooth and it is not that laggy so let us start reviewing by a couple of apps first let us review the uh, dialer app so basically you get a lot of uh, pop-up notifications since it is the initial st setup let me dial something okay let me color screen looks like we are familiar with these sort of color screens from octavio os they have um they have adapted the one ui whatever i mean one ui dialer app so basically we are familiar with that and you get sim choice option over here like this 
so that is about the call screen and regarding the contacts i don't have any contacts so let me click on to the uh, extra information that is over here this is how the dialer app looks like and second thing is the messages app so um, yeah again we are familiar with the we are not familiar with the uh, oxygen noise messages app since it was not ported to our uh, aosp rom so basically this is how the messages apps looks like so that is about the app and you can see how smooth it is launching and you get a default browser i mean the color wise browser i believe so this is how it looks like basically some are in chinese so this is how the color OS default browser looks like and you get an app market like we get in uh, MIUI I guess so basically I'm not going to post a review I mean I'm not going to agree to all these sort of things because I don't really like to use um, use their app store we have our Google uh, Play Store here so basically you get further system apps like notes are here yeah so okay fine so this is how the notes look like so let's add some notes so let me type in hello the keyboard that is used in this rom is google keyboard so basically yeah okay fine so you can set notes default notes are available over here what can you, what can you do with the notes i mean they are giving you a lot of font options like bold underline italics and stuff like that if you want to highlight your note definitely you can do that maybe from the highlight itself so you get a lot of functions with the notes it's not something stupid like uh, miui notes then you get a music app okay so let us agree to whatever they are giving as of now this is how the music app looks like really like the music app to be honest so you get some chinese music if you know chinese you can definitely <laughs> listen to it i don't know um, do we have any options to turn it into english i am not sure about it i need someone to translate things for me so this is how the music app looks like then hey top cloud i don't know what that is anyway there is a phone manager here so it is something similar to security app that we have in miui yeah basically all those stuff block and filter it's something related to the call so if you want to block some calls definitely you can do that so that is about the settings up and let's see how the camera looks like okay a lot of permissions are being requested let's review the settings up now so this is how the settings apps user interface looks like I'm not going through the each and every options of the settings app rather I will show you some um, stuff which is quite new so under the personalization you get options to customize the wallpaper so you get some nice inbuilt wallpaper if you want more wallpaper it will again go to the theme manager or go to the wallpaper section and all you get themes again it's going to take some time to load up the themes and again it is in it is in Chinese but I do prefer the stock layout and you get options to customize the uh, customize the icons you get material style or default style and pebble if you go to custom you get different uh, custom icon styles too and under the quick settings you can even customize the quick settings styles how the the style uh, it, it needs to be displayed that's really awesome and coming back you can customize the user interface color and a couple of colors are over uh, given over here and you have a custom color choice wheel so basically you can select custom colors and if you want to apply it click on save there is no hex code that you can use then font and display you get uh, two fonts by default roboto and sans and if you want more fonts again it will go to the theme manager and find out more fonts again it's in chinese and if you want to adjust the font size definitely you can do that and the font weight too without any issue adaptive font weight if you enable it i don't know how that is going to work and display size if you can adjust the display size over here too so that is about the fonts and display then fingerprint animation it's just like the device those device which has under the display fingerprint it's not something that we can use in Poco. Edge Lightning. 
that is for the notification stuff i don't really use uh, notification or aod then video ringing tones what is that so basically um yeah if you want to set custom video ringing tones definitely you can do that then underneath the home unlock screen it's just the regular kind of option that you get in aosp or miui nothing really um, new or nothing really um, changed in it then you get options to customize the uh, display into light mode and dark mode well it is something similar to the all oxygen OS version that we have or that we had then you can customize the screen color mode if you want to set it cool display color or default or warm you can do that then sound and vibration well you don't get any uh, default uh, ringing tone so if you want to have some nice ringing tone um, please make sure to save it in your SD card your ringing tones because once you click on more ringing tone it will again go to the um, online ringing tone it will again go to the theme manager and uh, you get some Chinese ringing tones I don't see any English ringing tones in it so if you want to do that please try to save it in your SD card then you get Dolby Atmos sound manager and uh, notification and status bar well you it's it's the it is the default um, settings that you are getting so you don't get any circle battery um, battery icon and stuff like that you just get one battery icon and there is no option to dis make the uh, percentage display outside too so um, the battery settings look something similar to miui you get a graph it is something similar to miui then finally let us review the system settings underneath the system settings you get developer options and the developer options is working smoothly here um, well if you feel some a bit of lag you can uh, cover up the lag by um, by reducing the animation scale and stuff like that these three options set it into 0.5 and the smallest width that i have over here is 462 so that is about the developer options then you get special features like uh, uh, miui lab we have in miui and about phone this is how the about phone page looks like do we have three finger swipe screenshot yep we do have and this is how it looks like we we also have three finger uh, screenshot and if you want to scroll screenshot you can do that yeah so this is how it Let's review the app drawer of this particular port as you can see this is how the app drawer works like it's really cool and it's really amazing you get um, icons over here and you can really slide it left or right smooth let's go to the device information and try to see what kernel it is using it's using 4.19.214 chidori kernel and uh, under the system as you can see this is a user build and the se linux is permissive then it's using the default one plus um one plus fingerprint then coming back over here let's have a look at the safety net thing let me launch the application and run the attestation uh, thing yeah it is failed if you want to enable the um, enable the play store certification you need to install some module for it so let's see how the volume bar looks like as you can see this is how the volume bar looks like and the user interface of the volume bar is really nice and the animation is really smooth you get also advanced youtube manager so basically if you want to install youtube advanced you can do that without um, downloading the actual advanced manager and stuff like that overall this is how the port is working so what are my final verdicts about the port well the port is stable and you can use the port there is a small kind of lag and you cannot complain that this is a port and uh, the developer has done a very good job i mean it's 
not that easy to make a port stable so please stop complaining the port is not smooth and blah 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 and stuff like that he had done a great job and i do really appreciate and i do really thank him for bringing out this port for our device such an amazing port it is stable if you want to use it as a daily driver you can use it as a daily driver but there is only one problem the play store certification is not passed you can um you can you can find a safety net fix and you can use magisk maybe magisk hide can solve the issue i didn't install magisk hide and let's have a look at the kernel information to ask the final thing so what kernel it is using so let's have a look so it is using 4.19.214 chidori kernel so if you want to change kernel maybe you can try that also apart from that i didn't find any problem with the port it is having volite too so basically my both sims are having very nice volite reception so there is no problem with the volite reception this is how the system notification works so if you want to install the port and if you if you are tired of using regular aosp roms you can definitely give a try to this port and this port is really amazing i just want to remind you if you have not yet subscribed to let's talk by george please do so so um many thanks for watching the video please stay tuned to let's talk by george thank you